So first we're gonna ask, we ask you this all the time. Is this the final number? Yes, it's the final number right here. How many has this been now? How many changes? Uh, three. So I was nine, we went to 18, 20, so now four actually. But you went, didn't you, you went back to nine for a while, didn't you? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Why were you waiting for 12? Why 12? Uh, probably because I just didn't like number 20, so that was the only option I had, so I switched to 12, and I was just like, you know what, I'm feeling this number, so I took it. Darnay, you been keeping track of this? Where all those numbers? No, I was keeping track that we were producing on the field. <laughs> that was a good answer. Yeah. So okay. how's, how's it feel so far, the first few days? Uh, honestly, this is a blessing to be back on the field with the boys. You know, we've been training hard all summer long. Just how every everybody in the country been training, but now we're on the field. So each and every day we're going to be relentless and pursue to the ball and get the ball out of the receiver's hands and make sure our offense is on point and we're on point as well. Yeah, just clicking on the same page, you know, we ready to go. So last year we wasn't really familiar with the system, so now we all familiar and we ready to get it going. So it's great. How's the front seven looking for you guys? They're looking great, you know, it's a battle in the trenches. So other than that, like, it's, it's looking great with the front seven, you know, uh, Martin Andrews, Osa, Tito, all those guys looking great in shape and just competing, you know, so just trying to get better every day. How does the strong front seven help you guys in the of the game? Uh, strong front seven help us a lot, I feel like, you know. Uh, pass rush is a big thing, you know, allow them to uh, get to the quarterback and get the ball out fast. So we have more chances to get interceptions, you know, but we got a selfish defense. So they produce and we're going to produce for them as well. You know? How good can the defense be? Uh, we can take it how, how far we want to take it. You feel me? We out here every day, so why not go hard? Yeah, exactly. I feel like we could be the best defense in the nation. And we got the talent, so, you know, just put on the work. Listen to the coaches and just don't even play for them. Graduated. You did graduate? Oh, so how, how, how long? Uh, you graduated in two years? That's what they say. Wow. Did they, did you said like a record? Did anybody say uh, anybody truthfully, that truthfully, I just mapped it out and executed my goal. I'm not keeping track of if it's a record or it's an accolade. It was just something I set out and I did what I had to do to get that uh, degree. When did you, did you walk already? Yeah, I walked in the summer with the boys. Wow, what was that like for you to have done that in two years? Oh, just a blessing just to be out there with the boys and just have my family there and friends and just really just to digest that feeling was the ultimate feeling, but now we focus on this thing right here. But your dad said that the plan was three, so how did you suddenly get to two? Did you just take extra classes or how did that kind of happen? Yeah, just using my time wisely. Summer session kind of helps, right? You were able to get a lot of credits for the summer session. Yes, sir. What was your degree in? African American studies. How, how impressive is it for to see? Oh, that's dope. That? You know, just coming in here, just setting the stage, the standard. I mean, um, just for all of us other DBs and stuff. So, just looking up to you know Darnay and just setting the stage today. You know, it's just something we got to work to, trying to get to. It's a blessing. Anyway, you still playing chess? Yes, sir. Uh, it's a lot of us playing chess now, so I took it to the meditation level now. Uh, I meditate with my brother, so at 11.30 we're going to get some meditation in. We just try to constantly tap into things so we're actually present and grounded. Who's the best? The best yeah. in chess? You can be the best. You want to be the best. <laughs> Elijah, have you taken up chess? Oh, no. Uh, I never played chess in my life, but I'm going to learn. So. so is this a new thing that you're doing meditation with your teammates? Yeah, it's definitely a new thing. Uh, actually, I was plugged in by Coach Scott Riggles. He know a few people. So we actually was able to tap into that avenue. And that avenue is a great thing, you know, actually just being the briefing. That's a real thing, just the briefing from the football side, the academic side, and really just getting your mind right and be, just being a visionary. Now that you're done with school, what are you going to do with all your free time? Uh, I'm, still, I'm still adding to school. Ain't no free time around here. So you're graduate school now? Uh, I'm at the point of trying to get accepted there. Okay. What, what do you want to study? I haven't got there yet. We're still on this uh, football path. Okay. You kind of use that mindset, though, of, of, of plowing ahead and working hard for school and football. How, how has it kind of carried over? I mean, the schoolwork you did, does that kind of translate to the football field, too, as far as mindset and things like that? Uh, for sure, you know, I'm just the type of person that I have to learn that I gotta actually deal with my problems. You know, being vulnerable is actually a, not a weak thing, it's actually a, a, a blessing. You know, being vulnerable actually 
being interested in your problems, you know, comprehending your problems and understanding your problems allow you to grow. So I just have a strict routine, you know, uh, don't make sure I don't, as a D3 group and as a family, as a team, we make sure we don't get swayed to distractions and we make sure that we uh, keep the standard at high, high level. What did you work on in the offseason? Uh, everything that I need to work on. You know, we work together as a defense each and every day. And whatever we felt like we need to work on, we were going to perfect that. And every time we get on this field, we learn something new every day. And that's our main thing is constantly growing and developing because once you get satisfied, you know, a lot of things can go wrong. Elijah, who are some of the younger defensive backs that impressed you? Uh, Carl Jones, uh, just him coming in and just really taking step trying to get better every day, you know, just have with extra film time. And just seeing that, just knowing like we got a great guy on our uh, in our group. So him and that's pretty much like the only DB I've probably really seen. Like, you know, just taking an extra step. Shamar Martin. Shamar Martin, he's he's solid. Um, you know, there's just a lot of things he still gotta work on, you know, just trying to get the system right, you know, when I was a freshman I didn't really know how to like, you know, uh, just go with the system and stuff. So just learning the whole process uh, with him. He's, I pretty, pretty much going to get it, so just trying to help him out. What kind of dimension does it bring Ray Chad Williams and uh, Patrick Jolly that they're like 6'1", while well, you guys are 5'11"? What, what do they bring to you know, Oh, yeah, they just uh, more physical. Uh, you know, just with that height, you got to be more physical as a, a taller DB. So just having them uh, just on our, you know, just our list of DBs, you know, you never know what you're going to get hit with as a you know, receiver course, so you can get me and Darnay didn't come get a physical uh, DB like Rashad and Pat. Hey, you've known Elijah since you guys were babies. What's it like playing next to him, going into this season, knowing that you guys are probably going to both be starting on the field together? Uh, just Allison is just guys playing, you know. We mapped it out since we were young, just playing for the passing with Panthers, and now us to be here right now, we have to just really stick to it. You know, come from the city we come from, we could have went. We had the route. We could have uh, tapped into a different agenda, but just having a great family, I want to say a great upbringing, but just the right demonstrations, you know, we was able to get to this point now, and we, we're not going to stop. Yeah, it's a blessing. It's a blessing to be my God, you know. We've been dreaming about stuff like this, so, you know, just out here and just doing what we love to do is just a blessing. It makes everything much fun. How old were you guys when you first played together? Uh, six, six, six. Oh, well. six. Is that what I was thinking, or what was that? Probably one of What are your first memories of each other? <laughs> uh, my first memory, I'll say, you know, as a kid, you do head up drills. You lay on your back, and you feel me? And I wanted to take Eli's head off, but Eli act like he was about to hit me and took my legs out. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I was, like, when I was younger, I was so little, so, you know, my only tackling thing was just trying to hit the legs. So I remember, all, oh, man, that was a memory. So, just, you know, we actually played baseball together, football, a lot of stuff. Uh, I remember it was one time we ran track together and we were in the back just <laughs> laughing at each other because it was just like, man, like track wasn't really like our thing. So just, it's a lot of memories we got with each other. Buddy, um, your dad said that you wanted to beat Dion's 40 time. Have you done that yet? Uh, my pop said go for me, but I set a lot of goals for myself. I'm just going with constant craft. You know, whatever happens, happens. I'm not really planning for the future. I'm just working on the present moment. How much, how, if you going back and watch that chase down play against Arizona last year when you went down and knocked that ball out from the running back, you have to go back and watch that? Uh, truthfully, no reason for me to watch that again. You know, it happened when it happened there, and now we're just on this field perfecting what we got to perfect now. That's in the past, and we just want to live in the present and perfect the things that we need to perfect, truthfully. What's the offense looking? Offense looking improved. That's the main thing. You know, they're developing, they're trusting everything. The chemistry is there. High pace, high tempo, running the rock, slanging the rock, all the above. Quarterbacks looking good. Quarterbacks looking how they should be looking. You know, they're not there where they supposed to be at yet. You know, as we're not there, we're supposed to be at yet, but we all can get there. Because you guys know each other so well, how, does, how do you think that helps set the tone for defensive back group or communications on the Uh Just the chemistry, you know, and the trust, you know, so just the trust is built with, within us, so. Just communicating well, that's just like the main piece of the like defense. You've got to communicate. So just the chemistry that's there and just knowing each other. We know our weaknesses, we know our strengths, so just trying to get each other better. Yeah. So if we must have to be saying once we take the field, we look at each other, make the eye contact, that head nod, that salute, we know it's time to play ball. Yeah. How about um Stefan and uh and Kool Aid in there with you guys? Oh, they're, they're great uh people to have behind us, you know, them too, you know, Gidry, Alex Johnson. All the other safeties, you know, uh, Mo Osman, uh, Jay Shaw, just a whole defensive back group. 
with the mastermind Coach Rose up there, I feel like we can do a lot of things that people really can't predict. You know, we can predict it for ourselves, but they have no clue. What kinds of things? Uh, the season will tell. One more question. You, you said that last year you guys were kind of right there and you were trying to sort of uh, kind of um, setbacks into W's this year. Do you feel like you guys are on your way to doing that? What's that going to take? Oh, for sure. All it takes is just playing our role, you know, play our role, master our role, and play at, play at a time. You know, last year we was caught up in the last play when we puzzled in the present moment. So our main thing is, all right, that play happened, you know, we're going to step back, dissect it, then re-engage it to the next play. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks guys. Appreciate it.